What? I fed you. Kitten. Are you ready for a new video? Me too. Yay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is part three of the Jonah Hex costume. Okay. This is part three of the Jonah Hex costume. So I'm going to be making the skirt, so the over skirt thing. And then also she has like this little underskirt thing. And then I'm going to show you all the accessories. And then next week is going to be the final reveal. I'm so excited because I, I think the final reveal turned out really, really great. So, um... If you haven't seen the first two videos, go watch them because they're the making the corset and making the undershirt. So this is the third video. Um, so if you watch all three, hopefully you can, you know, figure out how to make it. And basically, as I've said in the first two videos, the time on screen that Megan Fox was in Jonah Hex was probably five minutes. So I really had to go off these promo pictures because she wears three costumes in the film. And the one that I chose, she wore the least amount. <laughs> so basically, I had to really zoom in. And it's not like exact, like, you know, replica, but it was the best I could do. The skirt I had a few problems with because it, based on these promo pics, I couldn't really see the skirt all the way down. Plus, I feel like she um, wore like a couple different skirts. first thing was that that overskirt and from what I could tell it was this netting material but I just couldn't find that so I went ahead and got a really thin uh, linen and I got it from a cool place fab scrap I'll also put it in the link but basically what they do is they um, if the material is going to go in the land mill from like fast fashion you can buy it for cheap prices or there's this whole free section so I got some of that for the free section so when I was really looking at the skirt I noticed it was like one tier and then another tier and um, it looked like from my zooming and stuff like that that the second tier did have a bit of gathers so what I did was I took three yards of the linen three yards wide and then I cut it kind of around the knee because I from the photos it's like one side seemed a little longer one side was shorter and I was like is it how they you know bustled it I, I could never a hundred percent tell but I was like I'll just make it even on both sides and then maybe try to figure something out with the bustling later and I don't think you can really notice and you know it's so it doesn't look exactly like the film but I think it looks good enough where you wouldn't really be able to tell so I had three yards I bought six yards total three yards I did for the top part and I, and I cut it around my uh, like right around my knee when I cut the first one because it's this really um, thin kind of fabric, I was able to take one little um, bit out, like one little string, and then I was able to cut it really nice so I didn't have to like measure it and stuff. So that was kind of an easy way that I did like the um, cutting of it so it's all the same length. So that was kind of a cool thing I did if you guys want to do that. Um, so anyway, and I noticed in the poem pictures that she had these little tiny pin tucks. I think they're called. So I added all these pin tucks just to that top layer. Because from what I could see in the photos, from zooming up a million zillion times, it looked like that. And I do think they were a little closer together in, in the end product, but I, I think it gives enough of a look. So the first panel, it's all pinned. And then I um, went ahead and added the second panel, which I did at six yards. And I just did it to my, um, like to my foot. I didn't do it any longer. I wanted it to be, you know, even on all sides. And I gathered it, so I gathered the second layer. I gathered the second layer, so then I had a two-tier skirt. I, I had at that point, like, a very large rectangle of one top tier. So the whole thing was three yards by the end. So I had the top one, and then I had the gathered one in the bottom and I sewed the gathered one and I made sure that the outer part was showed the seam because I'm gonna cover that up with this trim I made and you're gonna see the inside like you're gonna see the back part of the skirt so I want to make sure that was cut like that was a nice seam on the inside 
And then I found in the free section of this batch wrap place, I found this already ruffled, it kind of looked like linen, but I'm pretty sure it was polyester. This already ruffled, um, I think it was for upholstery or something, fabric that kind of looked like linen and it looked enough, like good enough for me to use. And I just cut strips, um, I think it was about like four inches or so wide because it looked like that from the um, photographs. And I knew I was going to need the top part. And then at the bottom, they have, she has the same thing. When I first cut it, it wasn't, it didn't look ruffled enough. So I went in the sewing machine and I went on both sides of the fabric and I just added some kind of random like little ruffles in. So, or pleats. So or I ran added some random pleats in with it so it would look more like the photographs. Once I did that, I added the ribbon. And then I needed to make the trim match the photograph and it looked like um, kind of a mauve ribbon and then on top of that a brownish kind of ribbon. So I found those ones from the trim store and I have some video of me going to the trim store. Okay, here's my trip to the garment district in New York City and I'm excited because I can show you guys some of the shops that I go to a lot of the time. So the first one that I wanted to go to is called Pacific Trimming. And it's open like a lot of the time, that's why I like going to it, but it has a really, really big selection, so it's one of my favorites. And I went in here because I know they have a lot of buttons, and I thought I could find something to use for her, her earrings, which were like a round black with a dot in the middle, and I found a bunch of them that could work, so I was really, really excited. So, and then I was just trying to find like something that I could use for the outer edge because in the picture, the outer edge is uh, gold and then also it has a little round, round bead on top. So I was like, maybe I'll try to find a, you know, a round um, bead and then maybe a leaf bead to go around the sides because that's how it looked in the pictures. Um, but I didn't find any particular that, that matched that, but I was able to make something that's going to come later in the video. But look at this selection. It's so many. Um, I love going here. But I thought maybe I will go to another store just to see what they have. But I went to the ribbon part of this store first. And look at all these ribbons. And this is where I got the ribbon for the necklace, the ribbon for the um skirt as well so here we are at mj trimming it's just another store that i wanted to check out i wanted to see if they had maybe some other buttons that could work for the earrings as well and i was able to find some of the ribbon i needed for the corset and some of the materials for the earrings as well here so it was a success so, and I just wanted to show you a little bit of it, the city they were putting together for the ice skating rink in Bryant Park. And I was going to kind of show you my haul here, but then I just chickened out because there was so many people here. Um, but I just had a coffee outside. It was a really pretty day. And yeah, here I was going to show you like my haul, but then I was like, eh, I don't want to talk. <laughs> so anyway, I just enjoyed a little time here in Bryant Park. So that was really fun. And I just sewed with the machine, the thicker one, and then I hand sewed the brown so you couldn't see the stitching from the uh, the pink one. So I finished all the trim, which was kind of annoying because it was so big. Then I went ahead to the sewing machine and added it to the top part. So I just went underneath um, that pink ribbon so you couldn't see where I stitched it on. And then I could fold it over. So, and then I had to do that for the bottom part as well. And, but something I had to do first was add this, I think it's called horsehair. Hold on. Horsehair. Um, yeah, it's called, it's polyester horsehair braid. And I got like one inch or something of it because I noticed in the pictures how it was, you know, flowing and stuff. I knew that that was on there because that's what you add to give it that shape and that flow. So I added that to the edge of the bottom of that whole skirt. And then once I did that, I was able to add the trim on the bottom as well. 
So then I had the trim on the bottom and the top and then I was like, okay, now I can um, gather the top so I can um, add the string so then she can tie it. And from watching the movie, there was one part where she had the black skirt and she took it off and I noticed that it was just like, almost like a bustle. So I, I don't, it's not historically accurate. It was like a bustle kind of thing. So the front was open. So that's what I tried to replicate when I made the white one. So I just bustled it all pretty evenly to a um, to some tape and to some cotton tape, and then I um, I just made sure that like it, it was sitting where I wanted it to sit on the front because I wanted it to be a certain amount open so it would match the photographs. And then once I got just to that right amount, I was able I just added another layer on top of cotton tape to make it like really sturdy. And so I finished sewing it, and then it's just now it's like a finished um it's not really a finished skirt it's just like a kind of an open skirt thing and then what i did was just to finish it off because like the i noticed from the photographs that it was kind of the front parts was kind of turned inward uh, i wasn't sure exactly how they did that so i just kind of added a few stitches to make the front part kind of curl in so you couldn't really notice the edges and you couldn't really it, you, it would look more like the photographs and then one last thing I did for the bustle was I added two buttons on the very top of the skirt and then I added um, little like pieces of cotton tape which I cut so you could then just put up the bustle. So you could wear the skirt unbustled. There was a few times in the movie where she had like the one side was down, the one side was up and that sort of thing so I, I tried to replicate that. It doesn't look exactly like it. but. So anyway, that is the larger skirt. And then I had to move on to the cheat. So this one was really hard for me to like get a grasp of it. And also I didn't want it to be see-through because I knew I was going to be wearing this out. So I wore for it, for the costume when I wore it, I wore like nude shorty shorts. So you can't see anything anyway. So with that in mind, I was, I noticed one picture of it and it looked like a little like, like both sides were the same, like a pulled up little gathered skirt, but I couldn't like replicate it because I didn't want, I wanted the back end of the skirt to be sort of covered in a thicker cotton so you couldn't really see through it. So what I did was I tried to replicate it by gathering some linen fabric that I had leftovers from the skirt and gathering it in such a way that it kind of matched that photograph. And then I had, I bought this like lace because I noticed in the photographs she had this like lace with little flowers on the bottom. So I bought this kind of like netting one and I laid it over top and I just sewed that on and then I sort of just tried to like gather it in, in different places so it looked like a photograph. And then I attached it to a back kind of panel that I made that was just like plain cotton, um, tan kind of cotton so you can really tell. So the back is like if you wear that out, it would look ridiculous, but like under the skirt, you're not going to see it and it covered up my butt. So then, and I just added like two pleats on the back so it could have like a good shape, shape. And I added some cotton tape on the top of that and I made it close on the side so it wouldn't be like bulky or anything. So I had, um, so that was my small mini skirt. And then the last thing I did, I noticed in the photographs that there was a little bit of, um, thin um, lace on the very very bottom so I just hand stitched that on and some photographs it was like kind of coming off some photographs it was still on it so I think she had multiple 
ones of this skirt and some they looked a little different like some would just look like a little tiny piece of fabric and then some some scenes it looked like a lot of gathers so I kind of just had to decide what I what I wanted to do and I just I kept it kind of thin but it it did have a little bit of you know fabric to it hers is a little shorter than I wore and in it she wore like these black underwear but I just didn't want like anything showing showing so I just went with um, kind of these nude shorty shorts and then um, so then I had the two pieces of the skirt done um, and it looked really really nice so next I moved on to the accessories and she wore these stockings and I wanted from what I could see in the photographs they looked like a knit like stocking and I wanted them to look like that knit too so I bought like a really big much bigger size than what I normally get in those knit um, stockings and like I wanted to make sure they look knit so I bought from Target like these knit stockings in quite a few sizes larger than I normally get and then I cut them like at the very top and then I, I was able to kind of roll them down and then I just added some random holes and I think it really looks like it um, the problem when you do that is that it does they do kind of fall down so I did need the garters so I ended up making the garters as well and I had to zoom in really um, close in the pictures and I noticed that it was like a ribbon and um, I like a reddish brownish ribbon so I bought the ribbon that I thought really closely matched it I got two yards of it I used one yard for each leg and I noticed that there was like some elastic t to it so what I did was I just sewed some elastic to the front part of the leg so then when I tied them they stayed up and it looked really like the photograph and I did need them so um and then I just tied them in the back because she had them like tied them in the back so then I had the two garters done next I did actually the um the little mitts which I think they like turned out so good so I bought these knee-high socks from Target I think it was from a children's section but anyway and they were kind of like a tannish thing I couldn't get like an exact replica and what I did was I just cut the toes off and then where the thumb is I just made a hole there so like basically where the curve of the heel is I was able to do it so it's really not hard to tell I added a little few holes and then something I did that really made the most difference was the top of the sock in order for like the modern garments to keep the sock up they add elastic to the very top of the sock but it was like kind of squeezing my arm and it didn't really look like the photograph because the photograph kind of like tended to fall down and stuff like that and that's what I was looking so what I did was I noticed there was just little bits of elastic kind of through woven in so all I did was just cut out all the little bits of elastic so then it like had that look and I, I could have added like a little thumb but I didn't really think it was necessary so I didn't um, I thought it looked good enough so then I had the two hand warmers that looked really great and the only thing left was the jewelry which actually proved to be kind of difficult so I needed the earrings and then the necklace she wears so the necklace I just noticed that it was a uh, thin piece of black ribbon with like a little rectangle gold and I just could not for the life of me find the gold rectangle so the best I could do and I went to like multiple um, shops but I looked for buttons and I just couldn't find it so I um, but I did find that little rectangle diamond one I kind of thought it looked cooler anyway so I went ahead and just put that one on and all I did was tie it in the back and then as for the earrings I looked for I went to all these button shops so I'll show you some of the button shops that I went to and I found it just happened to be I found these um, circular buttons with the little dot in the center which looked like her photograph and then like there was another there was a section of buttons where you could mix and match and like stick other buttons in and because and, um, what I needed was the border like I needed the border and the black inside and all I could, all I could find was the black and I was like should I paint it or not but I found this section where it was a, it was a separate piece and you could build your own button so to speak so I was like oh my gosh so I bought two of those and I just um, I just glued them inside so then I had like a little circle circular thing and then I noticed from the photographs it was a sort of a drop it was like chain and stuff but I just couldn't replicate it so I just got these drop um, like 
wires and I got them some leaker back little um, earrings and I just added them and I all I did was glue it to the back of the earring and then it did have this cool like circular thing with these little wings coming out over top of that but I just couldn't find the little wing things all I found was just the circle so I just added the circle on top but I feel like it looks enough like it that from far away you can't really tell and you can go oh it looks like it enough so I mean if I did find I, I asked everywhere for that like I asked everywhere for the um, you know little like I was like do you have leaf buttons do you have you know and I went to like all these garment district stores in New York so you know if they didn't have it I don't know where it would happen um, so then I let those dry overnight and then I all I did um, to really like finish off the whole thing was I bought for the laces of the corset I bought these little like metal things and then I squeezed them on the ends because she it looked like she had little metal things on the end of her corset lacing and that was it that's how I made all the accessories and then um, for the shoes they're from American Duchess the Camille shoe the black ones so I already had those and they, they look perfect with this costume so I was really happy with it um, so and then next week I will show you the final reveal of the costume it was it, it turned out so good and I'm so excited and um, so tune in next week for the final reveal all right and thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys think this looks like the costume give it a thumbs up or write a comment or something because that really helps me out and please subscribe and thank you to everyone who's already subscribed and supporting me it means so much um so thank you so much